Hey, what's going on? Is that the, uh, the RF 100 to 500 by Canon? Yeah, it is. I've had it for a couple months now and I'm really excited and pleased with it. It's a really beautiful lens. Yeah, but it's a zoom and it's not a prime and it's 7.1. At least you got something going on for you and it's a white lens and it's not one of those third party black lenses because we all know in photography, if it's white, it's better than black. Well, that's a little racist. Hey, I gotta stop and ask you a question. What's the frame rate on that camera, huh? I can get 50 frames on this hog. It takes me only six hours to pick out the good ones. Uh, honestly, I, I really can't remember. I think it's maybe 15 or 20 frames a second. Uh, I try to just set it and forget it and uh, just come out here and try to enjoy myself and shoot wildlife in nature. I can't seem to figure out, Kevin, why my shots are completely blurry all the time. For some reason, the autofocus is so darn slow. Uh, I see you're using a teleconverter there. That probably could be part of the problem. Uh, kind of slows down the autofocus system and you have a greater chance of losing image quality and uh, possibly blurry your images and you lose one stop of light as well. So I personally try to avoid them as much as I can unless I really, really need to use it. Stop trying to tell me and preaching to me how to do photography, okay? I need more reach. You're, you're, you're using a 1600 millimeter lens and a 400 megapixel camera. Just crop and post, dude. It's not the same, Kevin, okay? Kevin, hey, stop, stop real quick, real quick. Hey, man, do you got that photograph on you that you took down at the marshes the other day of that bald eagle? I gotta see it, man. Yeah, sure, sure I guess. Here, I, I'll show you it. I have it saved to my phone right here. Yeah, you know, that looks great and all, but it kind of looks oversaturated in the beak a little bit. Okay, more like a lot. <sighs> well, I mean, I guess it kind of is oversaturated, but I mean, I kind of like the look of it. Makes the colors pop and everything. Editing kind of does look different for everybody, right? Yeah, it kind of looks like Big Bird ate some crayons and then pooped out some Skittles on your sensor there. Oh, sp speaking about sensors, is that a cross sensor? That's not full frame. We all know as photographers, full frame is better than crop sensor. Come on, man. Come on, you couldn't even get them right in camera. Come on, us purists. Us purists know how to do it right in the field, okay? Well, I'm okay with that, I guess. I mean, I, I come out here and shoot for myself for the most part. I'm not really trying to impress people with my photos. I'm doing more or less for my mental health and it's good to be out here, you know, taking photographs for yourself. Your photos aren't super, super duper, duperty duper tax sharp, Kevin. And you switched camera brands. I think you were a fanboy, dude. Hey, Jeff, come here, bro. You gotta check out this idiot over here. He's all camoed up. Hey, you stupid idiot. Why are you so camoed up? Uh, look, I'm a bird, I can see you. Tweet, 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 tweet. Look, everybody, I'm a duck and I can't see the guy in the camo. Quack, 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 quack. Oh my God, do I hate humans. <sighs> Ooh, man, this, uh, this trail sure seemed a lot shorter when looking on Google Earth. Well, it's time to stop and take a break finally and get a snack. I am starving. Man, I cannot wait. Son of a my Pop-Tart is broke in pieces. Come on, man. It's cold. Got just freezing out here all of a sudden. Freaking hot. Man, what the freak? Is it, is it raining? starting to rain now it's starting to snow we're gonna have a blizzard guys we're gonna have a blizzard wait is that tornado sirens i hear oh fantastic just great well at least it'll make for good photography on the way back to the car i knew i shouldn't have sat down along the bank there in those weeds ah and i seriously need a tripod these photos are so blurry oh oh, oh man i gotta I gotta ditch this tripod. Oh. Mother son You've of a- You've got mail. Mosquitoes! <laughs> Damn. Hey bro, is that a Black Widow spider? Oh hell no, I'm not getting my macro lens out. 
You crazy. Now I know I'm gonna sit here all day, watch, and get 682 blurry images of a squirrel. Meanwhile, somewhere there is a 12 year old kid out there making millions of dollars, making YouTube videos, opening up toys. Definitely in the wrong business. Finally, some alone time out in nature, all to myself. Get to relax and take some photographs. Ugh, come on, you can't be that important. Hello? Hey brother, what's going on Kevin? This is Scott. I know you only do nature and wildlife photography, brother, but can you stop on by this weekend and just do some portraits for me and Jennifer and the kids? I promise Timmy will not throw up on your camera gear in your camera bag this time. <sighs> Oh, come on. Now who could it be? Kevin Nordstrom, this is your boss. Mike called off of work last night and we need you to come in ASAP on your day off. <laughs> Sucker. Look at a bald eagle, yes. <laughs> Love it. Love it. What's good everybody? Hopefully you enjoyed those few funny moments of what it's like to be a nature wildlife photographer and how some things kind of get underneath their skin and kind of tick us off a little bit. Let me know down in the comments below any other type of things that you experience out as a nature and wildlife photographer that kind of just gets underneath your skin just a little bit. I would love to hear about it. Remember there's no such thing as a bad photograph, only a missed opportunity. Get outdoors and enjoy that opportunity that is in front of you with your cameras. God bless and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.